What is going on lads? It's a Letra Shock yeah, and today I'm bringing you guys another player review. So today we are going to be reviewing someone from the current team of the week. And if there is anyone you guys would like me to review, including Urzil or De Bruyne or Kogielia or whatever his name is, or Rafinha, then do let me know. So let's get into this review. Remy Cabela did cost me 37.75k when I did buy him. I think he's gone up to about 55k or so. I'm going to say he's going to settle around that. I played five games with him, scoring eight goals. Pretty good for a right winger. And here are some of his in-game stats. He's 24. I actually really like him as a player in a real life. From what I've seen of Newcastle, he's been one of their better players. He's got four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot, which you can't complain about and is very nice. And I'm going to read out some of his best in-game stats as I do every review. 82 ball control, 87 dribbling, 81 finishing, 83 free kick accuracy, 84 vision, 82 sprint speed, and 88 acceleration, and 91 agility. So while the goals do play in the background, I'm going to talk about Remy Cabela. The first thing, the first thing you are going to notice about him, his insane dribbling. He just glides around defenders. He just weaves in and out like you can see with a few of these goals. Takes it around them with ease, and that is combined with his acceleration. The acceleration and dribbling was very good, just made it so much easier to get around defenders. I was a bit sketchy about him being a right mid, but I thought he was actually pretty good as a right mid. He doesn't need that much strength, like he as much as you would in Cam. You can just run on the outside of the players, and 85 pace is enough. It's he actually feels a lot faster than he is because of his 88 acceleration. Uh, Romy Cabela also has some pretty nice finishing. A lot of the shots that I did take were on target and tested the keeper. Some of these goals had some pretty nice finishes as well. And Romy Cabela also has the very nice league. Of course, he's in the Barclays Premier League. A lot of links there. He's a nice nation. In my opinion, he is now the best French right mid. I'm not sure who else there is, but he's probably now the best... French right mid, so that's the only reason he will go for a little bit. And the four star school moves, four star weak foot on a right mid, how can you complain? They're just very nice to have. And his free kicks, of course, I did score a few of those. Very good to put on your set pieces, very reliable. I only had about two chances and I scored both of them. So there are a few cons about Romy Keller. The main bad thing about him was his strength. Do keep that in mind when you are playing with him. You're not going to be able to push anyone off the board at all. He's just going to get bullied most of the time. The other con that I did have with him was his uh, long shot slash finesse shot. So I didn't score any of him in this video. And I didn't think they were really that good. The ones that I did try, they went well up into the air. And they just were wired as well. So there's not many cons about Romy Cabello because he's a very good player. He's one of the most complete right mids. He's got very well-rounded stats. Just lacks a bit of strength and a little bit of height. And yeah, I would recommend trying out Romy Cabella in your French team if you do have one. He is arguably the best right mid from France at the moment on the game. And do try and fit him into your Premier League team if you don't have someone amazing because Romy Cabella does add that little bit of class. He can take your free kicks. He's got some good pace and good finishing and he's a very, very fun player to use. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will bring out some more player reviews during the week and I'll speak to you guys later. Hope you have a lovely day and goodbye.